Hello everyone, welcome to GED Skill Builds for Borderlands 3. Today we are doing a Moe's build I have dubbed the Shock and Paw. <laughs> you get it? Um, anyways, this build is going to be dedicated to the Shield of Retribution Red Tree, and uh, you're going to see exactly how much awesome, amazing damage that this bear can actually pump out. So let's get started. First off, we have the Railgun. The Railgun is going to be the primary weapon of this build. It is one of the first weapons you can get, and it should go in both slots. Both slots, of course. Railgun all the way. So, the first tier. Selfless Vengeance. Whenever Moe's reloads, she loses a small portion of her health and grants additional incendiary damage to her, her and her allies for a few seconds. This is definitely going to be maxed. You want selfless vengeance because that even though it takes five percent of your health Moe's is perfectly fine and you'll see why in a little bit the next ability security bear iron bear gains a bubble shield that reduces damage taken the shield deactivates if it sustains too much damage uh, it basically just gives your bear more shield um, we'll come back to this later armored infantry while Moe's shields are active she gains damage reduction and increased gun damage Basically, if you have a shield up, you get more more gun damage, and that, that's all there is to that with a little bit of uh, damage reduction. Once you're at level 6-ish, you get Hell on Rails. A railgun now fires superheated rounds that deal incendiary damage, but have increased fuel drain per shot. We want this. We want this in both of our slots. It's just probably one of the most amazing damage increases to the railgun you'll ever see. It does crazy amounts of boost. Drowning in Brass, Kill Skill. Killing an enemy grants Moe's a stack. For each stack of Drowning in Brass, Moe's fire rate is reduced, but her gun damage is increased for both her and her allies. If you're playing with other players, I mean, this could be absolutely amazing. Uh, let's look at the other options first. Thin red line, a portion of Moses' health is reserved and cannot be restored, but her maximum shield is increased by the same amount. So basically you're just converting your health into shields. Uh, it's okay, but remember, we're losing health with this, so we don't want to dedicate too much to our shields right now. Vladoff in Ingenuity, Moe's maximum shield increases and she gains resistance to stock, oh, shock damage. So it's basically just increasing your shield and making you resistant to a little bit of elemental damage. Uh, it's, it's all right. It's all right. If you want to go tanky, it's definitely an option. For me, personally, I think we're going to go with Drowning in Brass, because even though it reduces your fire rate, that extra damage is just simply amazing. And you will be out of your mech most of the time in this build, so I mean you need to output some damage. Survivability will come later. Uh, over here on the right, we have the Bear Fist. Um, the Bear Fist is for a completely different build. I wouldn't recommend using it in this build. Uh, you'll you'll see the major damage coming from your real guns. Third row, Capacitive Armature. When Railgun hits an enemy, it chains to nearby enemies, dealing shock damage to more targets. Uh, theoretically, if you wanted to do some AoE chaining shock damage and Depending on the radius of this, if it chains like to an, a huge area, like almost screen wide, it could be a valid option. So if you wanted to, you could like change one of your two traits out for capacitive armature. But I'm going to say no because that damage boost from these two weapons is just, oh my gosh. Full can of whoop ass. Entering Iron Bear causes Moe's and her allies to immediately begin re covering their shields at an increased rate. Yes, one point, there you go. Shields in your bear. Experimental Munitions. Whenever Moe's scores a critical hit, she now deals bonus incendiary damage. Remember, we're already doing incendiary damage here. So bonus incendiary damage plus 10%. Oh yeah, Molotov Cocktail. <laughs> We now have three points left over before we can move into the other tree. The last trait here is just an augment to bear claw. We're not using it. So you have three points. I would recommend, of course, getting the bear shield because it's free 
tankiness to your bear, and then pumping the rest into your own personal shields with Vladoff Ingenuity. That way you have some shields, you have some bear shields, you have some more dam more or increased recharge rate, more damage, etc, etc. You're good to go. Tier 4, moving on down. Corrosive Sabot Round. Railgun now fires a specialty round that deals reduced damage and explodes after a short delay. So basically, you can fire your railgun more, but the damage is converted to corrosive and it has a detonation sequence tied to it. I don't feel that that's super amazing with this build, especially with corrosive damage, but this, the hell on rails, I mean, it's just blowing the crap out of people, right? Behind the Iron cur Curtain is the first one here. Moses' shield recharge delay is reduced and her shield recharge rate is increased. That's pretty good, but um, again, every time you hop in your Iron Bear, you immediately start recharging your shields, and you're in your bear for quite a while. I mean, it's not a short cooldown skill, or not a short uh, duration skill, so I would pass on this personally. Desperate Measures is the one we want. Moses' gun damage is increased depending on low, how low her health is. The lower her health, the greater the increase. So up to 50%, guys. Look at that number. 50%. That is ridiculous. And combined with you're always just chunking off your health a little bit with this while you reload, you're going to reach some amazing numbers with Moses. She is definitely the gunner to be. Now, unfortunately, we have about two more points to use before we can get down to the next tier. So we're going to go back and we're going to buff our shields because we're burning through our own health to maintain this gun damage. So we might as well make our shields absolutely huge. The last ability is just an augment to the bear claw passing again. Going down into the fifth row, we have... Phalanx Doctrine. Kill skill. After killing an enemy, Moe's gains a stack. For every stack of Phalanx, Moe's maximum shield and gun damage are increased. Look at that. Maximum shield and gun damage. The two things that we want. And it's no stack. No stack limit, right? 30 seconds per charge, but no stack limit. You can go nuts with this skill. And then the second one is Force Feedback. Whenever you score a critical hit, kill your shield immediately begins recharging so we're gonna have to make a split decision here we're gonna have to get this because we want to keep our shields up because our health is always dropping so we put the remaining four points into phalanx to try and get it up as high as we can last skill in here is just a bare fist augment so again we're passing on that which brings us down to our ultimate tenacious defense Whenever our shield is depleted, we instantly restore a portion of the shield and our gun damage is increased. I'm not a huge fan of this particular skill, but I mean, it is amazing in its own right, just because every time you get like those super hits from bad, bad guys that just completely deplete your shield, you get some back and you get that 30% gun damage, which is pretty dang crazy. And now we have 22 points to play with. But we're not going to leave this tree quite quite yet. Once you reach your, your ultimate down here with your first point spread, we're going to go back and flesh out three more points into this build. We're going to polish off Phalanx. We're going to polish off Vladoff Ingenuity. And then we have one more point to play with, which we're going to put into probably your um, Armored Infantry just because it gives you a little bit of damage reduction and a little bit of gun damage. We're now left over with 19 points out of the Shield of Retribution tree, so we're going to move on, and we're going to go to the blue tree. The Demolition Woman tree basically makes it so you can stay in your bear longer. Longer bear equals more, what do we get? Rail guns of doom. More rail guns equals more fun, right? In the first tree, I'm not going to read all these. I'm just going to show you the ones you want. Grizzled. Kill skill. Killing an enemy reduces the remaining action, school, action skill cooldown time. Sorry, Iron Bear is reduced 
by five seconds every time you kill an enemy with diminishing returns of course but you're still killing tons of enemies getting that cooldown refunded refreshed and you're good to go the next tier opens up and we're going to drop down to stainless steel bear which means you gain additional armor in your bear and more fuel more fuel equals what guys yeah rail guns of god we now have nine points left in this tree right here definitely definitely you want auto bear auto bear after you exit your bear it will remain deployed for a short time and when it re while it remains active it basically just shoots god rays of doom at your enemies and then charges and explodes on them that is absolutely amazing i mean we're talking about lasers up the wazoo okay now you're at late 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 game and basically you just want to burn these eight points so you go all the way back up here and you increase with deadlines firing iron bear weapons drains less fuel killing an enemy increases fuel that means you're shooting more and more and more you're just unleashing the god rays and the last one we're going to fill out is fire in the skag den whenever you deal splash damage you deal incendiary damage this is just all over the place good because Moe's does a lot of splash damage by default and she needs to be pumping out everything she can from this tree 15 percent bonus incendiary damage means you're just blowing the crap out of stuff guys these last five points of course if you don't like this skill or you think it's better utilized anywhere you could probably come down here and maybe do ammo grenades you could do whatever you want you could swap over to this tree and deal bonus incendiary damage but pretty much if you follow this particular just lineup you're going to be launching the rays of doom and blowing people literally into gibbets guys tell me what you thought about this build and i will see you in borderlands 3